Jadon Sancho is going to be the biggest transfer story over the next seven months. And United fans want to know whether or not Old Trafford is going to be his home next season. So I'm going to give you all the latest updates from The Telegraph and David Ornstein on Sancho's potential move to United. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're new. Let's talk about Jadon. This week has seen plenty more noise around Sancho's move to United and it already started with Mike McGrath at The Telegraph with an exclusive saying that United were early favourites, that he will cost more than the 89.3 million that we paid for Pogba, that his wages would be in excess of £200,000 a week, but that United were confident that a deal could easily be agreed on personal terms so long as the fee could be agreed with Dortmund. Now, is Sancho worth that much money, more than we paid for Pogba? A player is worth how much you're willing to pay for them. It's the way it goes now. There's no point getting angry over a transfer fee. Someone like Jude Bellingham is a 16-year-old from Birmingham who we link with, and it's 30 million plus. We paid, what, 7 million for Hannibal Medbury? I can't remember how he's pronounced his name. I think I'm going to call him Hannibal now. Um, we paid a lot for him, but he's a young player. It, it's all about how much you think a player will add to the value of your club. And someone like Jadon Sancho would add so much to United, probably to City, to Chelsea, to any club who wanted him. He's that good. At 19, you just take one look at his numbers and they really are sensational. 14 goals and 14 assists this year. Stats that are comparable to Lionel Messi at Barcelona. And over the last two seasons, if you add it all up, he's had a goal contribution more than a goal contribution, 1.14 goal contributions per 90 minutes if you combine his goals and his assists. Jadon Sancho at 19 has already done sensational things. And for me, a big thing about Sancho is the fact that he's gone and done it in the Bundesliga. A young English talented player has left the Premier League in England and the safety net of it, gone to the Bundesliga and absolutely killed it. And that is a massive, massive show of how impressive Sancho is. He's forced his way into the England team, a very, very good England team, out in the Bundesliga with his performances. And he would massively improve United's attack, maybe in the same way that Bruno Fernandes did when he arrived. And as I said, there's going to be a lot of developments over the next seven months with Jadon Sancho to United. So make sure you download the OneFootball app. OneFootball are helping us by sponsoring this video. Download it. Keep up to date with all the latest game stats from all the Bundesliga games from Jadon Sancho at Dortmund this season and all the latest Sancho to United news updates. And there's going to be plenty as the season develops and, of course, plenty more during the summer transfer window when the season ends. So make sure you download the One Football app. There is a link in the description. It helps United People's TV if you follow that link and download it as well. But if you want any Sancho to United news first, make sure you check out One Football. Now, as well as The Telegraph's Mike McGrath speaking about Sancho, David Ornstein has offered an update on him as well. He was speaking on Stephen Housen's The Warm Down podcast. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. It's a very insightful podcast with Ornstein. And he has plenty to update United fans on in terms of the inner goings on of Sancho to United. And this is what he had to say. He said, as things stand, United are looking like the most likely option for Sancho. Indications are that Chelsea aren't in for him, whether that's to do with Champions League qualification or the size of their squad. Talking about how good the deal is that Sancho's on that will put a lot of clubs off, but it won't put United off. And most importantly, says that United really want to sign Sancho and that Woodward does as well. And that maybe Champions League qualification isn't a prerequisite of signing Sancho and that maybe Sancho would move to Old Trafford without the lure of Champions League football next year. As a Plenty of good points, or plenty of interesting points there that Ornstein makes. The first one I think is most important is the fact that Ed Woodward wants Sancho just as much as United. And even if you read in the papers that he's got less influence on transfers, it's not completely the case, certainly. Woodward, if he wants him, it probably means that United will go after him. And in this situation, that's probably a good thing. Whether or not he wanted Bruno Fernandes, I don't know. But that worked out for United. And United certainly have the money for Sancho. That's not a problem. So to hear that other clubs are being put off by it, it's not a case of United having the money. It's a case of United spending the money smartly and correctly on the right players for the right reasons that will help improve this squad. Just like 
Bruno Fernandes has, just like Harry Maguire has, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Dan James, all for different reasons have improved this United squad. And Sancho could come in and do the exact same thing for our attack. He could be a special, special signing. But when it comes to Sancho and whether or not he'll join United, I would say there's two main hurdles facing United at the moment. Number one has to be Champions League football. If we guarantee Champions League football next year, I think we guarantee the signing of Jadon Sancho. And the second one, you have to think that the managerial situation and the question marks around it are a big, big hurdle for this because will Ole Gunnar Solskjaer be manager still next year? Will it be Mauricio Pochettino? Will it be somebody else entirely? That adds an, a level of uncertainty for Jadon Sancho that he'll want clarify before committing his future to United because he made the absolute right decision in leaving City and going to Dortmund. And he'll want to make sure that the move from Dortmund to wherever it is, is the right one for him. And the switching of managers could impact that, as could the Champions League. And for me, they're the two main question marks. But you've got Mike McGrath here and you've got David Ornstein both saying United want Jadon Sancho. You've got the Telegraph's Mike McGrath saying that United are early favourites to signing. Wages in excess of £200,000 a week. Do you think it's worth it for that amount of money? Let me know in the comments below. But Jadon Sancho to United, just like Bruno Fernandes to United was before he joined, it was the biggest transfer story for a long time. I think this Sancho one will drag on. It will continue as the season progresses as well. But United are in for Jadon Sancho. And I think an interesting point to think about here as well is the fact that Borussia Dortmund now are being linked with a move for Jude Bellingham, the 16-year-old from Birmingham City, who United tried to sign in the January transfer window. Maybe they're trying to repeat their success story with Jadon Sancho by going after Jude Bellingham. Interesting to see that randomly out of nowhere, oh, well, that, oh that, that's the way I've seen it, randomly out of nowhere the Bellingham stories have started, but apparently they've been looking at him for some time. But maybe they're trying to repeat their success with Sancho and that they're planning on Sancho leaving. Let's be honest, Dortmund sell players. It's, it's their business model, it works for them. They've got an excellent ability of renewal, of great players leaving and great players coming through to replace them. Maybe it's gonna be Sancho going out and Bellingham replacing him. But let me know what you think about this in the comments below. That's all the latest updates on Sancho to United. I hope this has helped. If you didn't know about all these updates, make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. But Sancho to United, will it happen? I hope it does. But these are the latest updates.